Hi friends, Cole here. Thank you for joining me. I wanted to do a short talk and meditation for these anxious states. I know that it feels, oh, there's lots of feels. One thing that keeps coming up for me and lots of people that I've had conversations with is, is this feeling of um, having lack of agency or having like no control. Like we don't know what to do. Like there's nothing, nothing to do. It's just like this like imp impending doom or we're like we're just waiting in anticipation of um, that something's lurking around the corner but without any recourse. Like we want to, our natural um, instinct is to want to act, to want to do something. And really, you know, a couple things. One thing that we're doing, that I hope that you're doing right now as you're watching this, is that you're staying home. That, you know, we're laying low, staying home. And also that we're taking care of ourselves. And that you're, yeah, that you're watching this video that we're taking care of this internal relationship because this you know extends out and it often seems like you know we roll out our mat we're on our little square this is our you know my self practice but self-care is community care they're they're interwoven so this is doing your part by you know sitting down checking in with your internal weather Finding ways to calm the system, to calm um, the anxiety, it's, it resonates and it goes out. One thing that I think is very important though is that we don't want to shame the fear and we don't want to shame the anxiety because, you know, a fear, fear is like an internal intelligent barometer that we have as a human species fear anxiety you know it's there to tell us something and we are living in um, anxious times it is appropriate the fear and the anxiety are normal and they're appropriate it's what we do with it do we let it take over do we let it help propel us towards being more kind towards being more loving or do we just get wrapped up into the whirlwind of uh, what if what if what if um it's hard this anticipation of so many things that we don't know and not only that but then the financial losses um that we're experiencing especially when um i mean all of us have different ages of family older elderly um, family members, young family members that may be home now. There, there's a zillion different scenarios that are going on that have been highly impacted. So um, finding ways, there are very real tragedies and things that are happening right now. So finding um, ways to ease that fear. It doesn't just go away with by sitting and breathing, it doesn't. Like I, I understand that. I'm not gonna. We're not gonna whisk it away with um, some yoga magic. But what we can do is prepare ourselves to act by being calm, and that can allow us to act in the most appropriate and the most productive ways when we're dealing with the hard times. So that is, that is my hope. Um, there's a mudra that I wanted to show you that can be very beneficial. It's called Vaya Mudra. Vaya means air. So the air element is where it's, it's up, it's moving, it's in flux all the time. So this can kind of, it can help with um, anxiety. A mudra is just a symbolic hand gesture. It's an intentional hand gesture, but it can really help to resonate. Um, and to bring, coalesce all the pieces together with uh, intention and to cultivate some ease. So we'll take the hand like this. And you're going to dip your first finger down, your pointer finger, and then put the thumb on top of it. Kind of like that. See? Yeah. And then we'll turn the palms up. So both, both. Yeah? Just an option. Close your eyes down. Feel your breath move in your body without needing to change it, without needing to fix it. Just feel it 
move through your body. Notice if there's any adhesion or any restriction, any hesitancy. And then begin to smooth it out if you find any shakiness. See if you can smooth it out. And remember, we're not retaining, we're doing nothing like that. We're just really allowing the breath to flow. Often when we're anxious, retaining the breath can make it worse, make the anxiety worse. Not for everyone, but I just want to throw that out there. That um, I find more beneficial for moments of anxiety that to focus on the exhale and to let the breath flow. So not be restricting. But what we will do is we'll start to emphasize the exhale. So we're going to make it bigger, maybe make it a little bit longer, but we will definitely make it louder. Okay, so inhale naturally, exhale, it can be a deep breath like that or we can sound more like ha ah, or hmm or anything like this. So what this does is it stimulates the vagus nerve which is begins at the top of the throat here. The vagus nerve controls the parasympathetic system in the body which is the self-soothing system or the settle and soothe system. So rest and digest, settle and soothe, it's easeful. So when we're in anxiety, fear, panic, stress, the body's natural response is to go into the sympathetic nervous system, which is good. We have both of these systems because we need them both, yeah? But we have this threat, it's true, but we can't act on it right now. So we're needing to settle and the best way that we can act is by tapping into the calmness and the ease. Yeah. So that's kind of the system that we're trying to turn on here. So with the audible exhale and any kind of vibration in the throat, it's going to tickle the vagus nerve. And we want to tickle that to have the vagus nerve tickle the parasympathetic. And we're just all going to win a little bit more with that. Yeah. So. We'll continue to breathe again. We'll close the eyes back down and accentuate and amplify the exhale. Remember, no breath retention. We're letting the breath flow, but we just want to give a little more love to the exhale, a little more awareness. The inhale will happen naturally. The exhale, yeah, we just want to send some, some focus there. Let's do it. Just a couple clearing breaths. And then begin to amplify. So any sound. Ah. Inhale happens naturally. Mm. Twice more. Explore some different sounds. Maybe flutter the lips. <laughs> Come back to a natural breath and just notice we just did five breaths. I can really tell a difference in my body just from that. So take a moment to, to feel, feel in there. Mm. It's an easy way to drop in, an easy way to come back into this grounded state. With so many things that are out of our hands and out of our control at this moment, can feel quite empowering to have a few tools to be able to counteract that feeling of hopelessness. But 
to come back and have a little bit of sense of agency over our, our body, our breath, our space. So what feels also, it does feel like we don't have a lot of choice. We actually do. We get to choose where, where we're going to weave with our perspective, with our thoughts. And as I said earlier, it's very natural and appropriate and normal that we're in a fearful state right now. It's appropriate and it's natural and it's normal that you may be in a state of anxiety. These are messages from a very intelligent system in our body because there is, um, there is threat, but choosing how we respond to that is where we get to weave more towards the love and compassion side. You know, fear, an, over, an overabundance of fear begins to separate us. It begins to look for an enemy, look for the others, the us against them. And what we need right now is to activate that really ancient system that we also have that is cooperation and bonding and our ability to have empathy for one another. One is not bad and one is not good, but they have evolved side by side. And, you know, we get to choose intellect over instinct and maneuver around a little bit. So acknowledging the fear and actively choosing the connection, the compassion, the, the clearness and the lucidity. And how do we answer the fear? How do we answer that protection mode? answer it through the perspective of community and of love. And balancing out these energies, these systems. Mm. So we do have agency after all and much more control than it seems on the outside. And leaning into that, that's where that empowerment comes back. And the choice comes back. Let's take three deep rounds of breath. Emphasize the exhale. Make a sound, make it loud, make it felt in your system. Inhale. <sighs> Once more. Maybe swirl the spine a little bit into that space that you've created. Maybe just feel in. And let the eyes slowly open. You can release the mudra as well. Maybe open the arms. Take a wiggle. Does it feel any different than when you sat down? I hope. Hmm. And again, thank you for doing your part. If you're watching this video right now, I'm assuming that you are staying home. So thank you. And you are coming more into yeah, connection with yourself, leaning more into the love side of things and that's how we can reach out so and that is a big thing that's doing a big thing so thank you Suksama and namaste see you